Today I will be teaching you about figure of speech. We will be discussing what figure of speech is and if there is any difference between figure of speech and figurative language. Let's check it out and see if there is any difference. Here are the two definitions. Figurative language is defined as language that contains uses of figure of speech. Therefore, they're the same thing. Now let's check out some examples. First up is a simile. A simile is any comparison with the words like or as, where like two peas in a pod is just one example of a simile. Sly as a fox is another example of a simile. And my grandpa walks as slow as a turtle is yet another example of a simile. Next up is metaphors. A metaphor is a comparison without using the words like or as. And here's one example. You are my sunshine, where you're not literally the person's sunshine, but figuratively, you are. It's raining cats and dogs is another common example of a metaphor. Next up, we're gonna talk about onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is usually an action word like boom, pow, or splat. Hyperboles are yet another form of figurative language. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse is an example of a hyperbole. A hyperbole is an exaggeration. Next up, we're going to talk about alliteration. Alliteration is one of those funny sayings like how much wood could a woodchuck chuck where the first letter of multiple words is exactly the same. She sells she shells by the seashore is yet another example. Irony is a type of figurative language that a lot of people get confused with coincidentally. However, irony does not mean coincidentally. It actually means when something seems to oppose what it's actually saying. Nothing is written in stone is one example. Here's another example where one sign is talking about childhood obesity while the other one is supporting unhealthy eating choices. And here's another irony example. Please do not tape anything on the glass, yet there is a piece of paper taped on the glass to convey this message. Next up, personification. Personification is any inanimate object like these cars that have human characteristics like eyes or the ability to speak. Back to this image of the sun, this is also personification because it has human characteristics. It's important to remember that something can potentially be more than one type of figure of speech. And this sun is just one example. While it is a metaphor, it is also personification. Next up, we're going to be talking about oxymorons. An oxymoron is when two words sit right next to each other that seem to contradict each other, like jumbo shrimp. Here's another example. Act natural when acting isn't really natural. A paradox is really similar to an oxymoron, but there is a difference. A paradox is also contradictory, but it's not just two words. It's a statement or a sentence. So here's an example where the blue button is true, but the red button is false, therefore it's contradicting itself. But let's take a closer look at the difference between paradox and oxymorons. Here are the definitions of oxymoron and paradox, where it explains that paradox is a statement where oxymoron are incongruous words. While act natural is an example that fits more along the lines of an oxymoron, it can also be described as a paradox because it is a contradictory statement. All right, now you know nine different types of figures of speech. The thing is, there are more than 30 types of figures of speech, so you have a lot more than you can learn. All right, now it's your turn to come up with examples of each of the types of figure of speech that we went over today. Thanks for watching.